Hey everybody. <clears throat> Y'all got to excuse my voice. This is Queenie Clem, the literary ambassador. And this is Queenie's book talking reviews. And this is Vlogmas Day number 14. How are you today? I hope everyone's doing well. Well, today we are going to talk about children's Christmas books. I have five Christmas children books that I would love for you to check out with me today. So, without further ado, let's get started. My first book is The Black Snowman by Philip Mendez. And uh, I'm going to read you a little synopsis on the back. Christmas is coming. Snow is falling in the city. Jacob and his brother make a snowman and wrap it in a scrape of cloth they find. A scrap of cloth they find. But the scrap is really a kenta, a kenta, an African storytelling show that has special magic qualities. As the two boys soon find out. So, this is one of Jamal's books, and. He um, has read it, but Mommy has not. So um, that's book one, and I'm thinking about reading it for Christmas. So this is the first children's book, The Black Snowman by Philip Mendez. And this actually belongs to Jamal. Okay, that's the first one. Second one is called, um, this is book three. So evidently it's a bunch of the American Girls Collection, 1864, Addie's Surprise. A Christmas Story. And I got this from the library. And I was going to read this one day as my Vlogmas. Um, let me see. It doesn't have exactly who it's by. Um... It's by Connie Port. Inside. Connie Port. This is the front of it. And I actually got this from the library. Oh, let's read the flap of it. It says Christmas without their family would be wooden won't be easy for Addie and Mommy. To brighten Mommy's holiday, Addie decides to buy her the cheerful red scarf she saw in a shop window. Addie carefully saves some of the money she earned from Mrs. Ford dress shop, but after Eddie go Addie goes to help the newly freed slaves, she starts to worry. Should she buy the scarf when there are people in need? Addie discovers the answers as well as a Christmas surprise 
of her own. And again, this is Abby's um, Surprise, A Christmas Story. And I got this from the library, and I was going to read a couple of chapters. Actually, it's five chapters, six chapters. And um, I was thinking about reading this the week of Christmas as my Christmas stories. But I don't know. But here's another children's Christmas story um, that you can pick up from the library. <clears throat> Next, we have Mims Christmas Jam by Adrian Davis Pickney. And I read this a couple of days ago. I read this a couple of days ago. I also got this from the um, My County Library. And it is a great book. Um, if you go back a couple of days... I actually read this as one of my Vlogmas uh, videos. So this is Mame's Christmas Jam. All right. Then I have um, another book. It is All I Ever Wanted Christmas Doll by Patricia C. McKissick and Jared Pinkley. Pinkley. And this also came from my county library. And I'm just going to read the back of it, what it says as a synopsis. It says, Dear Santi, I've been good most of the year. I love my sisters the most. I help mama and daddy as much as I can. I know there is a depression going on, but I've got my heart set on baby Betty. She is all I ever asked for. Please. From a very good girl, Laura Neal Pearson. P.S. I'm sorry I hit Harry, but he hit Dessa first. And this is also uh, a library book I picked up, and uh, Jamal will be reading for uh, Christmas. So this is another one that you might want to get your children and read with them for Christmas holidays. And last but not least... Is Grandmama's Gift by Eric. Oh, I don't even want to butcher up the last name. But I'm going to let y'all see the front cover. And I'm going to try to read the inside cover. Every year, Eric spends his winter break with his grandmother in El Barra, Barrow while his parents are at work. There's so much to do to prepare, prepare for Christmas, including buying all the ingredients for Grandma's famous Paisley's, I guess I'm pronouncing it, a special Puerto Rican holiday dish. But Eric also has an assignment for school that requires a trip to the Metropolitan Museum of Art to see a new painting. Grandma and Eric are nervous about leaving El Barro, but are amazed by the museum and what they see in the painting. A familiar face in a work of art by the painter, great painter, Diego I can't pronounce that last name. I'm not going to butcher it up. That day, Eric's world opens wider, and Grandma knows the perfect gift to start him on his new journey. In this sequel to Grandma's records, Eric brings, the author, brings readers back to a special day spent with his grandmother 
that would change his life forever. So this, I think, must be a nonfiction. But it is a Christmas um, children's book. And um, I got this one for the library for Jamal for this Christmas. Um, so that's Grandma's Gift. All You Ever Wanted Christmas Doll. Mims Christmas Jam. Addie Surprise, A Christmas Story. And The Black Snowman. These are great additions for your children to get uh, for the Christmas holidays and sit and read it with them as I will with Jamal. So that's my Christmas, children's Christmas books that I got at uh, the library hall for Jamal for this Christmas. And with that being said, I am Queenie Clam, your literary ambassador. I would love for you to have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you on the next video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Have a blessed day and happy reading.